Hello everybody, this here is W Country Boy. We finally got the project cleared. Let's go ahead and lower it. Here on this 5 o'clock on this lovely Thursday evening. Here in South Florida. Where your current conditions is about 93 degrees outside right now. Anyway, so we're not focused on the weather, we're focused on this garage door. Now, I showed you earlier in the video how to take all this stuff off. Well, we did that. And guess what? No, nothing's changed. It's all the same, same pieces. But, instead of being white, they're silver. These bars have been painted. No, these are not new bars I put on this door. They have been painted. And it looks awesome. I like it, kind of gives that industrial look. And then I painted the arm for the mo, uh, this arm for the, uh, attached to the uh, trolley for the opener. Silver with the uh, brackets. So it kind of all blends in real nice. So yeah, uh, let's go ahead and give this another one uh, run real quick. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you a little bit more of the door. It's a wood, it's a real wood door. It's not uh, any of that part of war garbage. Uh, here's the opener. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see anything. But yeah, the opener. Okay, maybe you guys will be able to read it this time. I don't know. Okay. But that's the back. There's the antenna. Torches, springs. Uh, <clears throat> the main reason I made this video, I have found out today about this garage door. I don't know if you can have a wood garage door like this one, but do, do be careful when you detach it from the opener. Because this one is wound a little too tight. Very tight. This door flies up real fast. The opener, the uh, this thing was moving. The door was moving faster with it. It was actually pushing the trolley against the opener of the arm. And then when I let the door go by accident, it flew back and hit the motor. It did not break the motor or the unit, but I have to have someone come look at this door because this door is very dangerous. I gotta get this door adjusted properly because this thing flies. Uh, so, yeah, uh, other than that, let's go ahead and run it one more time and we'll, you uh, know, I did this project about for $12. Bought two cans of rust and spray paint, looks like metal, and it actually does, so I'm very pleased. This was not a hard project. Like I said, you know, you may get a little sweaty and dirty for or sweaty from it, but it was not hard. I think people should not be intimidated to doing this. This is not that hard of a job. Uh, I think people could do it if they wanted to. Uh, I was not scared of taking this apart at all. I mean, the riskiest thing to probably is, I may not even got the brackets on right, but hey, that's what happens, you know. You gotta take uh, chances in your life, so. Oh, here's the new Genie uh, remote keypad. Uh, put this up about two days ago. It's a Genie product. Uh, yeah, it, th this is a little tricky to use this unit. Uh, I figure it out. This is not like my Chamberlain. Uh, I am not a Genie fan. I don't think I'd ever buy another Genie. The reason I end up with the Genie is because of the Oprah. I am not a Genie person. I will probably not buy another Genie. This will probably be the only thing of Genie I'll buy. Uh, when this opener finally goes, I'm going to get a Chamberlain because I'm not impressed with Genie products. I'm not a Genie person. Uh, I love Chamberlain and I love LiftMaster. That there is a Genie opener. That's why I got the keypad. The uh, Genie has good stuff, but I'm not a Genie person. So, yeah, here's this keypad. Uh, I can explain a little bit. You know, it's just this occasional keypad. I figured out with this keypad, you cannot just push the close button. You have to push your code in because you can sit here and do this all day. Nothing's going to happen. So you got to punch your code in and then push this, which I do not like because it's a very hassle. I like my trembling. You click the button, door goes down. This, you got to punch your code in and then the door will close. But Genie, no. Same with Craftsman. Same thing. You got to punch your code in and then it closes. Whatever. I I'm not a Genie person. I probably will see what happens with that later down the road. Uh, but yeah, uh, here's the... Uh, 
Here's the opener. Uh, let me get the clicker first uh, out of the car. Uh, let's see here. This okay. You all may recognize these clickers. This is another Genie product. This is my brother's garage door opener. I made an earlier video on the, uh, a couple years ago. This is the same clicker. It's just a little faded because it's been in my car. Uh, it's got three buttons. Like normal, you know, three buttons. It's, uh, so, uh, yeah. I figure I called Genie. They told me, okay, if you have this particular opener, the same opener as I have, you have a button. Uh, I don't know how well this is going to turn out. I can't see worth it. So I don't know if you guys will be able to see this. I hope it turns out. But anyways, if you have this clicker, okay, I'm holding the clicker upside this way, the way that the lady told me hold it. You hold it up this way, there's three buttons, okay, and there's three dot. There's one dot, two dot, three dots on the buttons. There's three dots on one button, two dots on another, and two on the other one. But the one dot button operates the older openers, such as this one. I found out this one is a 95 unit. So this is pretty old. This is probably about 20 years old. But I found out this particular button right here works this opener. I did not know that. I got an older opener like this back in the 90s, which is great, but I couldn't use this clicker until I called Genie, and they said, oh, no, 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 you can use that clicker. So we read her the, I read her the model number. Uh, this is a very hard unit to see the model number. Uh, you have to look on yours at home. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So this is the back of it. Uh, here's the front. Here's what I was telling you, maybe this is better lighting here, okay. So, the number one ruffle button opens all the units, like this one. This is a 95 unit. Uh, so this button will work with the older openers. Only this button's programmed to work with older openers. You can't use that one, and you can't use that one. These are for the newer openers present. I think present beyond 95 and now. I'm not sure, I'm not a garage door guy. But I think that's correct. But this one you can use with older openers as such as this one here. So that's good because I have a spare clicker now and I got this one in my car which will work great. So there's that. So that works this, see? One, see if I can see here and push this button. Nothing's gonna happen. Nothing's gonna happen here. Keep pushing these, nothing's gonna happen. But if I push this one, it works. So there you go. Uh, I don't know what to tell you, but there's the clicker. If you were to hold it upside down, the lady was telling you me, this would be your button you use to work the older openers. So, all right, I don't want to make this video ridiculous long, but the whole idea is to show you this opener and the bars that are painted. This is a 16 by 7. I hope you all enjoyed the video. You have a good day. Bye-bye now.